So let's talk about the IPO market, equities, AI, and who knows what else <laughs> with NYSE <laughs> President Lynn Martin, who joins us here at Post 9. We'll start off on IPOs. Uh, this is a, a fairly large one. Yep. There's some activity, certainly better than last year, but, you know, Lynn, I, I, there are, I mean, me included, I sort of question why we haven't seen more, given at least until recently the ebullience in the broader equity markets, yeah. not to mention the needs of many of these private companies to potentially access the capital markets. Yeah, year to date, we've raised three and a half times the amount that we raised in the comparable period last year. So the IPO markets are definitely opening back up. I think you had a period of time where we saw deals the beginning of the year. You had that quiet period in the middle of February, mainly because companies had to state their financials, restate their financials. So now you're starting to see more companies go out. You saw Reddit here just a few weeks ago. Uh, yesterday we had a great company, PAX. Today we have UL, as you mentioned. Deals are getting done. They're getting upsized. The two deals this week both were upsized. Uh, they both priced high end of the range, really optimistic signs for the IPO markets, and we're gearing up for quite a few companies to come public in the next couple of weeks. Right. Although, all right, I can go back to the late 90s. Obviously, I don't want to equate that period with the current one, but there is a great deal of excitement around generative AI. There are plenty of companies that are private right now that you would yep. imagine might get a positive reception. Yeah. How come we haven't seen, I don't know, just more in general and certainly more in that area? Is it just too soon? I think AI, it's still a very, very young area for lack of a better description, despite the fact that so many of us have been using large language models in our processes just like we have for more than a decade. The whole topic around the AI ecosystem, the infrastructure players, as well as the software, it's still in its infancy. It does come back to, though, the importance of data AI, and I think AI is just the next trend that's showing the importance of data. How, how does it change what you do and trading here at the New York Stock Exchange? Well, if I come back to what I just said around data and the importance of data, AI, large language models, natural language processing, a variety of forms of the artificial intelligence description. They allow us to do more with less in some respects. They allow us to parse through the ridiculous increase in data that we see every day. If I look at our own messaging, the systems, what we process every day, our messaging rates are up 80% year on year. So the amount of messages we process is up 80%. We can't look for the trends you need to look for in your function as a self-regulated organization, someone that takes the hallmarks of the capital markets, transparency, fairness, liquidity, so important. We can't surveil those markets without the use of AI, because there's just so much data in the market. So does it make our market safer? I think it does. I think it enables us to surveil the increased amount of data. It also allows us to add transparency. The way we've been using a form of AI, specifically large language models, is to add transparency to the most opaque markets. We've been doing that at our parent company for more than a decade. We really see the benefits that this is going to bring to add the transparency, fairness, reliability that are the hallmarks of the New York Stock Exchange and all of the markets that we run to market.